Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Right now, crews remain on the scene of a house explosion in southwest Baltimore. So, Chopper 13 overhead just a little while ago. This is on Bayard Road in Pigtown. We know at least three people were injured. Our team coverage continues with Abajoy Burnett. She's live near the scene. She has an update for us. Abajoy. Hi, Denise and Vic. Well, officials have pushed us back quite a bit. When we spoke with you earlier, people were still able to be in this region right now. But as you can see, there are only officials in this vast space where scores of people were when we first got on the scene. I, I just want to give you an idea of all of the debris that has fallen. You may be able to peek through the people who are standing here and you see all the rubble on the ground, all the bricks that are on the ground. All of that is from the, the end unit row home that exploded. Loaded earlier today and then ultimately collapsed. Uh, Chief Roman Clark told us that three people were injured, one person serious, and two critical injuries, and those people were taken to the hospital. Now, at this moment, uh, many of the folks who were in this area who ran to this particular block when they heard the explosion and when they saw the smoke, many of them have gone home. But we have gotten some new details about that now new end unit, the, the unit right here that's still standing right next to the one with the red awning. We were told that the homeowner, he moved in about two years ago, and he just happened to be out of town doing some things for the holiday. And his friends were here. About five of his friends came to the area, hoping that they would be able to go in and possibly get a cat and make sure that everything is okay. But when they came on scene, they saw the firefighters on top of the home ripping up the roof to ensure that there are no additional fire hazards. So they will not be able to to get back into the home. So there's a bit of good news there because that person is yet another person who was not home. Three injuries, all three taken to the hospital, and the perimeter, it's quite wide. You see the special operations team, rescue units, um, fire crews that are still going up onto the top of these buildings, ensuring that everything is safe. We were also told that there was a ruptured gas line here that BGE had to come in and shut off that fuel source because when we got on the scene, there were still flames, active flames that were going up. So this is a situation that is still ongoing. Uh, Chief Roman Clark said now they will have to look into the initial causes of this. But at this point, they, their main focus is to ensure that everything here is stable, especially for the people who are still living on this block. We'll have much more for you coming up in WJZ at 5. We spoke with so many people in this area. We'll have team coverage for you in less than 30 minutes. Live in Southwest Baltimore, Average Roy Burnett for WJZ. Average Roy, thank you. This, of course, still a developing story. Stay with WJZ as we continue to bring you updates on air, online, and streaming on CBS News Baltimore.